Yes, sir. It's good, family. Quemax, aka okay, Quay, we back at it like a crack at it. Look, Generation Hope, 911 operator refused to help saving a dying black kid. What happens? It's shocking. Why is this black kid dying? I have no idea, but we're going to find out today. All right, so hopefully, guys, enjoy it. And let's get into it. I got in, Ted. I got into Stanford, Dad. I'm going to be a doctor. That's great. Stanford? I knew you'd get in. Doctor, that 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 has to be fraudulent, man. That cannot be authentic. That can't be legitimate, man. Because black people are only good for two things, man. The only, they're going to only have two careers in life. Three, actually. Uh, a, a ball player, a rapper, or a criminal. I refuse to believe that this thing is going to be a doctor. There's no way. If he's a doctor, please do not put me in the same room as him, man. I would rather bleed out. I'm not even going to lie. What? I knew you could do it. Thanks, Dad. That is awesome. Oh, my God. Have a seat. That's crazy. Man, I said Imagine doctor. It. Dr. Jaden Washington. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I, I can't can. believe it. Man, you know what? I can't wait to wear those fancy white robes. And I can't wait. Man, the only white robe you're going to be seeing is that a Klan rally. You getting hung up on a cross burning at, at the stake, bro. That's the only white robes you're going to be seeing, buddy. All right? Man, tell me some. It don't matter how fancy your suit is, right? How nice you dress, you're, at the end of the day, you're still black. And you will not be a doctor. I'm going to make sure of that. Tell me some a fancy white robe. Oh, don't worry. You're going to see multiple white robes. Trust me. Trust me, you're gonna see fans multiple. Wait either, because you know what? It might mean I'm gonna get free treatment. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you free treatment because you're my dad. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. Son, I want you to know, I am so proud of you. And if your mother were here, she'd be proud too. I know, I know dad. I miss her too. You know, I, uh, I really just want to become the best doctor in the world. You're not being a doctor, bro. the people that were afflicted with the same sickness that mom was. I, I know it'll be hard, but I remember what you were telling me every time as a kid. Yes, <laughs> and remember to always help people, even if they've done you wrong. It's the most important lesson in life. Bro's not Ooh. being a doctor, bro. I will. I will. I promise. And you know what? This is such a special occasion that I want to give you a special gift. This is the watch that your grandfather gave me when I was going off to college, and I want you to have it. Are you serious, Dad? That yes, old beat-up watch? Oh you deserve it. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Man, that's not even a that's not even a Roly. That's not even a Patek Philippe. Man, that's a that's a G-Shock, bro. What am I supposed to do with a busted up, beat down G-Shock, bro? And then talking about being a doctor to help people like his mom who died, man. Even if you were a doctor and working on your mother, your mother wouldn't have made it. Your mother would have been in the same place as Queen Elizabeth in the dirt. The, what's wrong with this dude, man? Why do he think he's so smart? He's not that guy. He's not smart, all right? Goodness gracious, like I said before, it don't matter how, you could put on 50,000 suits. You're not smart and you're not going to be a doctor. You didn't let me play with this since I was a kid. I know, <laughs> I know. And you know what? When you get older and you have your own kids. Oh no. I want you to pass it down to them when they get ready to go off to college. That old watch? Yeah, I will, I promise. By the way. Somebody yeah. need to rob him. I was trying to go out tonight to celebrate with some yeah. friends. Is that okay if I go? Of course you can. <laughs> you deserve it, like I said. Thank you, Dad. Go out and have a good time. Yes, sir. I will. Be careful out there. Thank you so much. I will, Dad. I will. Tell this monkey can't six, fool okay? me, bro. Okay. All right. I'll see, see you, you later. Then. Bye. Bye, Bye Dad. Come on, a doctor. Okay. Good evening, officer. How can I help you? Evening. My name is Officer Harrison. Are you Ben Washington? Yes. The father of Jaden Washington. Yes, that's my son. Is he okay? I'm sorry. Unfortunately, your son was caught in the middle of a burglary. He was shot and killed. Dang. And he in the same dirt with his mama. Like, it's, it's, if anything, it's lined up. There's three tombstones, man. There's three caskets. 
three tombstones, man. On the left is the son. In the middle is his dead mama. And on the right is Queen Elizabeth. That's tough. Couldn't have been me, though. Apparently, he wasn't him. Couldn't have been me. That's all I know. Do you have a suspect? All we know is that the suspect name is Trey Williams. He's been involved in multiple burglaries in the past couple of months. I sound like a I black name. You. We'll find justice for your son. I don't want justice. I want my son back. I understand. I understand your pain. But fortunately, right now, I'm going to just have to come inside and ask a couple of questions. Yes. Not getting your son back. Yes. This man crazy. Man, crying like a baby. You could do all that crying you want to. All that crying, all them tears is not going to bring them your son back, man. You could be crying, sobbing. You could dance. You could mess around and twerk in the middle of the living room. Your son ain't coming back. Your son is dead. Just like your wife. Get over it. He be all right. Jesus, you know I'm not a religious man. But if perchance you can get a message to my son, Jaden, you would have been 19 years old today. And I still can't believe you're gone. Believe it, buddy. And if I had been there, I would have done everything in my power to save you. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Are you okay? Help. They shot me. Ah, it hurts. Oh my God, you're bleeding. We've got to get you help right away. Please help me. Help me. I don't know how much to let the whole door. Ah. Don't say that. Son, what's your name? It's Trey. Trey Williams. It's Trey Williams. The suspect. Oh. Yep. All we know is that the suspect name is Trey Williams. He's been involved in multiple burglaries in the past couple of months. Let him bleed out. We'll find justice for yourself. <sighs> Where did you get this watch? What? Where did you get this watch? I don't know. I took it from a college kind of party. I don't know. Ah. What are you doing, sir? Sir, please, I don't care about the watch. Please just help. That college Thank kid? Oh. That college kid was my son. I'm sorry. Please just help me. Ah, sir. This is my Let son's him. watch. Sir, where are you going, please? Yep. Let him bleed out. <laughs> yep. That's right. That's right. That's your son watch right there. You couldn't even do what you're supposed to do as a father. Your 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 job, your obligations, your duty as a father is protect. Is to protect your kids. You couldn't even do that. Now look where your son at. You couldn't even protect your bit. Look where she at. Boy. Yeah, that's your son watch. This is my son's watch. And remember. Always help people, even if they've done you wrong. It's the most important lesson in life. Remember that, son. I will. I will. Help. Trey Williams? I ain't helping Do you nothing. know what? It would do me no greater pleasure than to see you die. Facts. Oh, help me. Let him die. But you know what? I made a promise to my son to always help people. What? Even when they've done you wrong. Sorry, please. So you know what? I'm going to call 911. What? You looking into the eyes of your son's murderer. And you talking about you're going to help him out and call 911 so he can get the, me the, the medical attention he needs? No, what he needs is death. I, I, I wish I would run into, into somebody that kills somebody I know. And or love. Yeah, you're going to die. If anything, I'm going to speed up the process and I'm going to send you to Queen Elizabeth myself. Facts. Facts. Ain't no way you about to take the life of my of my family slash friend and you see the and you see another day. No. No, bucko. You're going to die. What the heck? No, sir. That's that just will not be happening. Man, tell me some helping others, man. Ooh, man. And I'm gonna get you some help, but that's all I'm gonna do. Please hurry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> you should have been bleeding out already. Please hurry. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my. 
Oh my god, these worthless people, they won't stop calling. It's like every five seconds. Bro, like he's streaming. I, just, I wish they would all die already. It's like, come on. Facts. All right, let's see what this guy wants. Facts. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? Oh, thank God. We have a young man here that's dying. He's been shot. We need help. ASAP. No, you don't. Okay, well, um, let's calm down, all right? The screaming's not going to make me want to help you anymore. What's your, uh, what's your emergency again? There's a young man dying. Please, I need help. He's bleeding all over the place, everywhere. There's not much time left. Good. Please send help right away. We're at the corner of Ninth and Pine. All right, listen, relax, okay? This screaming's really annoying me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. A person is dying. I need you to send an ambulance right now. No, we don't. How many times do I have to tell you? All right, listen to me, sir. If you don't lower your tone of voice and talk to me respectfully, then I'm not going to want to help you. Facts. Do you hear me? I mean, quit yapping. I, I, people die every day. I get it. Someone's dying. Facts. And that's what I say all the time. People die. People die every day. N-words die every day, B. They gonna be okay. He's just gonna be another casualty at war. Another statistic. Another young black man dead. Goodness, man. What he, he don't need, and not only that, he, he killed your son. He killed your own flesh and blood. Nah, he, he needs to be bleeding out. He need to be begging for his life. Tell about some helping, man. Yeah, he be all right. Die every day. You'll be good. You know, you're not that special. Facts. What is the matter with you? This is a human life we're talking about. We don't give a f Man, that's not even a human life. That's three-fifths of a human life, man. That's not no whole human life. That's three-fifths. Let's get that straight. We seriously need some help. Your job is to help people. All right, now you listen to me, sir. You don't get to tell me what my job is. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. I know this neighborhood. This is the one that's filled with all those thugs and criminals. One of them killed my friend last year. Why don't you Definitely. just let him die? That's what, what you, I said, bro. What are you talking about? Just because they live in a certain neighborhood doesn't mean that they don't deserve to be helped when they're in need. Are you out of your mind? You know what? Yeah, dude. Why don't you help them yourself if you care so much? You got a point. Hey, I would have did the same thing. He just like me for real. I would have did the same thing, twin. Like, bro, tell me, yeah, if you really care about helping this little... This little black man, how about he go help that black man? Goodness, he just said the neighborhood was filled with thugs and criminals, man. Golly, maybe if he wasn't a, a, a thug, a criminal, if he wasn't a, a delinquent, right, a detriment to society, he wouldn't have to worry about losing his life. But unfortunately, he wants to be a thug. He want to be a criminal? He want to play with guns? Don't worry. Every action has a consequence. He think he big and bad, toting guns? Don't worry. He is exactly where he at right now. The same, he, this guy right here, this this old man right here is the same person that would say free YSL. Why should we say free YSL? They've been doing criminal activities, right? They're criminals. Criminals, they they need to, they deserve jail time, correct? Just because they make fire, I ain't gonna lie, Young Thug and Gunna make some fire music. That joint be busting, busting. But just because they celebrities, don't mean they don't get they don't get a they get a pass. If I was a celebrity. And I'm and I'm and I'm engaging in gang violence. I should be locked up, cause I'm breaking the law. At that point, I'm a criminal. I need to be behind the bars, not out still, just because I'm I'm famous. No. Goodness, man. Oh my God, what is the world coming to? Uh, please, I can't take it anymore. Uh, I don't want to die. Why is he not You're dead? You're not gonna die, Trey. Please. I'm gonna get you some help. Uh. We're gonna get to the hospital and we're gonna get you fixed up. Bro. We're gonna get you there. We're gonna get you taken care of. Come on, stand up. Let's get in the car. Why? Please. I got you. And he about to bloody up my my Rolls Royce? Hold on, Trey. Just hold on. We're gonna get there. What? Just the hold on. Tell me, please. It's all right. No. Nah. It's all right. I got you. It's already bad enough. He's helping this 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 juvenile delinquent. This this 
prime ape, right? It's already bad enough you're doing that. But he 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 got him inside the car, right? Bloodying up and 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 smudging up my Tesla, my Tesla Model 3 2023. That's an issue. That's an issue. He shouldn't be in my car. He needs to be dying, bro. He wants to he wants to engage in gang violence. He want to kill my son. Don't worry. There's a place for people like you, man. It's called the grave. You don't get no pass. I feel cold. It's, it's getting dark. Help me, You're please. gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Talk to me. What do you want to be when you grow up? A, a, a doctor. But it's kind of dumb. Kids like me never get to make it to do that type of job. Kids like you, Trey? I was a kid like you. I wanted to be an architect. And people didn't believe that I was going to become an architect. But I did. And I know you're going to become a great doctor. How? So what kind of doctor do you want to become? Surgeon. I, I want to become a surgeon. How does he want to be a surgeon when he's a criminal? Bro has a criminal record. He has multiple felonies. How? Bro. 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 He expects to be a... How is, does he expect to be a doctor, a surgeon, something in the medical field when he has multiple felonies? That's not... That's just not possible. These are not, like, misdemeanors. These are felonies. Like, bro, he's not going to make... He's not going to... He's just another dumb black man. Another, another statistic, man. You don't want me making me mad. Man, tell me you want to be a surgeon. How are you going to be a surgeon when you out in the streets? That don't make sense. A surgeon? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be great at it. And I know that you're gonna you're gonna make your family proud. You're gonna make your parents proud, Frank. I don't. I don't have parents. They died. It's just me. I'm. I'm all alone. All alone. No, you're not. You're not all alone. You got me, Trey. Hang in there. What? I've got you. God, let Trey live. Don't let him die. Oh, no, God. Let him die, God. If it's in your will, God, let this man die. He killed my son, right? Killed my killed my son, and 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 I'm over here. No, I'm not. I'm not helping the guy that killed my son. That's just there's there's no there's no alternate universe. Like Doctor Strange could come up with a hundred thousand alternate universes, right? And not one of them is me helping the the guy who killed my son. My son's killer. That's just not happening. The, f the, the frick? My son. Hey. You're here? Yeah. The hospital said you don't have anyone to contact to come check up on. Yeah, I grew up in the foster care system. I don't really know my parents. That must have been tough. It was I. Right. Listen, um, I know who you are. I recognize your name when the hospital told me to drop me off. You're the father of that kid I killed years ago. His name was Jaden. I just want to say I'm sorry. I used to hang around bad people because I didn't have anybody and I did everything to survive. I was robbing your son and his friends. I didn't mean to shoot. I just got scared and I pulled the trigger. I know there's nothing I could do to bring him back, but I'm thankful you were able to save my life even after I took your son's life. I don't expect you to forgive me, and I am ashamed of my past. He's uh, accidentally pulled the trigger. That's why I told the cops everything. And when I get released from jail, I'm gonna go back to night school, get my high school diploma, and eventually, I wanna become a doctor. You're getting life, you're not going- I am truly sorry about what happened to your son. Trey. You're getting life. Everybody deserves forgiveness. No, they don't. And I know I can't get my Jaden back. But he would want me to remove the hate from my heart. 
Man, I don't care what Jader want. He's dead. And this and the person right in front of me killed him, bro. He he get he gets to talk. He gets the the walk. He gets to breathe. He gets to eat. Blink. My son can't. I ain't forgiving nothing. I'm forgiving nada. What the heck? And forgive you and help me. Thanks. I know I don't deserve it. Somebody he's gonna be a Thanks. doctor. Bro, you're getting life. Most important lesson in life. Always help people. Even when they've done you wrong. What? Okay. I forgive you, son. Come it's me. important to forgive others who've done you wrong. Because by doing so... Forgive these nuts in your mouth, man. I ain't forgiving nothing. Especially, especially the, the, the man that killed my son. I have no forgiveness. I have no capacity. I have no room for forgiveness for that, for that, for that boy. Tell me some he, he got scared and accidentally killed my son. Accidentally gripped the gun. Accidentally pulled the trigger. Which accidentally shot the bullet out the chamber and killed him. And then, and then, bro, talking he about he's gonna be in the medical field. How are you gonna be in the medical field when you just killed somebody? You're getting life. You're getting life, buddy. You're not. You're not gonna be in a doctor. You're not gonna be a lawyer. You're not gonna be anything of importance but another black man in the penitentiary. As you should, okay? But that's it. That's Generation Hope. 911 operator refused to help saving a dying black kid. What happens next is shocking. I have no issue with the 911 operator. Uh, he already know what it is. He said it himself. The neighborhood is nothing for with criminals, right? Criminals and thugs. They're going to do what they do. Kill each other. I have, no, I, I have, I have, listen, man. Ain't nothing I can do. Just like, just like in Chicago... Just like in the South Side of Chicago, where the police hardly do anything, they just let them run rampant. We're gonna treat it just like this. They're gonna kill each other anyway. Let them die. Let them die. They wanna they wanna be in the streets, they wanna jump out the porch, get in the field, and, 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 and be and be gangbangers, all right? Be gangsters. Off there. Nobody put a gun to the head and told them to pick up a gun. Nobody put a gun up gun to the head to be blood crip BDGD. They want to be BD. They want to be GD. They want to scream, Curry up. All right. You just going to have to suffer the consequences. So, 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 when you in front of the judge facing life, don't cry to your mama. Don't cry, Yana, please. I'm just a young, I'm just a young kid trying to, no. No, you're not just a young kid trying to make, uh, uh, make good out of a bad situation. Because if you would have did that, you would have been in them books studying, trying to go to college. But you was too much of a real N-word to do that you thought you was cool being in the streets and instead of them books but now you're gonna be in a sale both of you guys enjoy it quimax aka aka your favorite criminal